Hi, welcome to Jackie's Review. I'm going to do a review on Foamy. This is a shampoo bar. I've never used it before. I saw it the other day because I wanted to try to find another one. Maybe I could find a better one than the ones that I already like. This one's a little different because it has like this little handles like thing that you're supposed to be able to slip on your hand. However, either I have an abnormally big hand um, because it barely fits. So maybe you're supposed to just use like two fingers. We'll just do two fingers. It is curved differently. It's like shaped differently than other shampoo bars. Other shampoo bars are just like little circular ones, which is fine. This, I think it's designed to have like a different grip to it. The other part of this is you're supposed to use this to hang and dry your shampoo, up, shampoo bar. So what I did like when it came through the mail is that this is a paper product but the bag that it came in was a recycled bag and it said you can recycle it again. So that's kind of nice that everything that is sent to you is like recyclable or has been recycled. So yeah, let's, I already got my hair wet so it's damp at least, not as wet as one would like. Um, okay, and the shampoo bar wet, it says to lather in your hands. Oh. I'm not digging the smell of the bar. The smell is not necessarily my favorite. The lathering is pretty good though, and it is a nice, um, the shape of it does make it a little easier for you to lather it between your hands. So I do like that. It's a decent lather. lather. I mean, it lathered okay in my hands, but then to transfer it from my hands to my hair, didn't really work as well as I thought it would so we're just gonna put the bar straight on the head like I normally do um, that worked a little better really not like a lot of smell to this so that part's kind of disappointing they do have other ones though I picked the one that was gonna be best for my hair so this one says it's made for dry and frizzy hair okay they also had one that's made for like oily hair, um, one for damaged hair, and they all come in different smells. There was like an aloe one, a hibiscus one, and um, I think another one too. So the reason why I only bought one of these instead of multiple ones, because I was originally going to buy like three or four different ones, but I only bought one because the other one that I was looking at was for oily hair and I don't have oily hair so I was like no I, I won't get that but not only that but these are like nine or ten dollars for one bar which is okay but since I want to try it out I don't want to you know spend forty dollars and then not like the the bars or the product or you know what I mean so I was trying to be reasonable with my money Okay, now that I'm all soaked up, I'm going to uh, rinse this out. I have been out of the shower for an hour and my hair is still wet. Which is really strange because usually it doesn't take this long for my hair to dry. And if you can see, it's very frizzy. I didn't put any conditioning products in it after using the shampoo bar. So just from this experience which is you know whatever um, I would definitely say use conditioner whether you have a conditioning bar or um, normal conditioner uh, but use conditioner afterwards because even though this is for dry and frizzy hair my hair is still pretty frizzy I'm not sure why it's taking so long to for my hair to dry naturally this is bizarre but um yeah so far it's not really my favorite um i might change my mind later on thank you guys for watching if you have a really good shampoo bar you want to recommend to me to try or you want me to review a specific shampoo bar leave them in the comments below so i can buy it and try it thanks again for watching Bye everyone!